Hi there. Welcome back to our next session on C++ programming language. In this session we will learn about the C++ functions. The function in C++ language is also known as procedure or subroutine in other programming languages. To perform any task, we can create function. A function can be called many times. It provides modularity and code reusability. There are many advantages of using C++ functions. Code reusability. By creating functions in C++, you can call it many times. So we don't need to write the same code again and again. Code optimization. It makes the code optimized, we don't need to write much code. If you use functions, you need to write the logic only once and you can reuse it several times. Let's discuss types of functions. There are two types of functions in C programming. Library functions, are the functions which are declared in the C++ header files such as seal, x, cos, x, exp, x, etc. Two user-defined functions, are the functions which are created by the C++ programmer, so that he or she can use it many times. It reduces complexity of a big program and optimizes the code. You can see syntax of creating function on your screen. You have provide return type followed by function name and provide parameters. Let's understand it with an example. In the given example I have created a function to change the value of parameter. Watch the example carefully. Now let's discuss call by value. Here are two ways to pass value or data to function in C language, call by value and call by reference. Original value is not modified in call by value but it is modified in call by reference. You can see the diagram. In call by value, original value is not modified. In call by value, value being passed to the function is locally stored by the function parameter in stack memory location. If you change the value of function parameter, it is changed for the current function only. It will not change the value of variable inside the caller method such as main. Let's understand it with an example. Watch the example carefully.
Now let's see call by reference. In call by reference, original value is modified because we pass reference, address. Here, address of the value is passed in the function, so actual and formal arguments share the same address space. Hence, value changed inside the function, is reflected inside as well as outside the function. To understand the call by reference, you must have the basic knowledge of pointers. Let's understand it with an example. In this example we are going to do previous call by value program using pointers. Watch the example carefully and see the difference. Now let's see C++ recursion functions. When function is called within the same function, it is known as recursion in C++. The function which calls the same function, is known as recursive function. A function that calls itself, and doesn't perform any task after function call, is known as tail recursion. In tail recursion, we generally call the same function with return statement. Let's understand it with an example. Watch the example carefully.
Hope you liked the video we will get to know more topics in our upcoming sessions. Till then thank you.